Hello, I am Dr. Ankita Tiwari. I am consultant endocrinologist at AMRI Hospital, Bhubaneswar. So today we will discuss about a very common problem that is thyroid disorders in women. As you all know thyroid disorders they are very common. Every one in five women is affected from some kind of thyroid disorder. So I am sure you have heard about thyroid gland. It is a butterfly shaped gland located in our neck which produces thyroid hormone that is T3, T4. These hormones are very important for bodily function, energy metabolism, lipid metabolism and reproductive functions especially in women. So if uh, there are two kinds of disorder that is hypothyroidism that is underactive thyroid or overactive thyroid that is hyperthyroidism. So we will mainly concentrate towards hypothyroidism in this session. Uh, hypothyroidism means that thyroid gland is producing less amount of thyroid hormone. So uh, the symptoms associated with hypothyroidism are weight gain, uh, lethargy, fatigue, dry skin, loss of hair, menstrual irregularities and in some case it can cause infertility that is inability to conceive also. Even if you might get pregnant there are increased chances of miscarriage if severe hypothyroidism is associated. The treatment is very simple we just replace the deficient hormone with the thyroid tablet. The, this is a synthetic tablet but the composition is almost similar to the natural body hormones. So it is a very common disorder many people they are taking thyroid hormone and there are absolutely no side effects if taken in right dose. There are uh, many misconceptions about that uh, about diet in thyroid disorders. If you ask me I will say there are no major dietary restrictions because even if people say that you should not eat cabbage you should not eat that but the amount which we normally consume is very less it will not cause any harm in your thyroid gland. So you can have a normal diet normal balanced nutritional diet and there is no specific diet related to decrease your thyroid disorder. So you have to take a normal balanced nutritious diet. If you are diagnosed with, with a hypothyroidism disorder that means your body is producing insufficient thyroid hormone. So you in majority of the cases you would require lifelong treatment with thyroid hormone. What happens is in, in many of my patients they take thyroid hormone for some time and when they feel better they stop taking it. So it is not advisable you have to take thyroid hormone according to your physician's advice and stop only if you are told to. So you have to take thyroid hormones for uh, majority in majority of the cases for lifelong and the dose will be decided by your endocrinologist during your uh, monthly visits. If you are a woman and you are diagnosed with thyroid disorder especially hypothyroidism the first thing is that you have to take thyroid tablet regularly. You have to take that tablet in empty, empty stomach that you have to take it before breakfast once you get up. There should be a minimum of 45 minutes to 60 minutes gap between the taking tablet and food because food it impairs the absorption of thyroid tablet. You do not have to take any other medicines like your acidity medications or calcium or iron along with the thyroid tablet because it will hamper the absorption of thyroid tablet. Even if you want to take some antacids there should be a minimum one hour gap between the thyroid tablet and your other tablet. As far as calcium and iron supplementation is considered there should be 4 hours gap between the uh, between uh, thyroid tablet and the calcium or iron supplements.